In this next example, we're going to look at some methods for enhancing a license plate in Ikena Forensic. And so first we're going to start by zooming in on the area that we want to enhance. In this case, it's going to be the license plate on the back of the vehicle. And then uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to enable our region of interest tool, which we can do over here in our mouse tools or by clicking on the region of interest filter. Um, and then you know, select that tool so we can resize this box. Bring it over to the area that we want to enhance. Resize it accordingly. And so now what we're doing is we're only going to be enhancing this area within our region of interest box since we don't care about enhancing uh, other things in the video like the ground. Um, we may be interested in enhancing uh, other parts of the vehicle um, uh, later, but for now we're just going to focus on the license plates. So we have drawn our region of interest uh, accordingly. And we're going to start um, by enabling our resolution filter. There's a much longer explanation for how our resolution filter works in some of our other demo videos, so I won't uh, rehash that here, but basically we're going to start by looking at the number of uh, surrounding frames that we're sampling. You can see I'm just going to go ahead and max that out at 51 frames, and then we're going to uh, upscale using our super resolution factor. We're going to upscale it all the way to the maximum value of 4. And you can see already we're starting to get a much clearer picture of the characters on this license plate. In fact, we can probably almost read it now. Um, and we're going to apply some additional uh, parameters within the resolution filter. I'm going to go ahead and apply our fusion parameter. I'm going to go ahead and max that out, and then we're going to apply our accuracy setting. And you can see, we go all the way over, it kind of exaggerates uh, some of these things, but here we can kind of see some of the detail edges, these characters a little bit more, even though it kind of distorts other parts uh, of the image. And then we might want to play with uh, using our detail mode um, once we apply some other filters. I'm going to leave that turned off for now. Uh, next, we're going to start with our contrast filter, and we're going to just, for the most part, we're going to use default values. Uh, we shouldn't have to make too many adjustments with this example. We're going to start with our contrast setting, uh, kind of darkens those characters a little bit more, and light and color is going to do the same. Uh, it's going to make it really uh, uh, stand out from the background of the license plate. So we'll apply our sharpening tool and try with our deep blurring tool, that kind of so that helps a little bit as well. And so now we want to look at and see if our detail mode uh, will kind of help in this case. And I think it actually does in this case kind of bring out a little bit more detail, even though it kind of distorts some other parts of the image. So what we'll do uh, now that we uh, have got a pretty, pretty good enhancement of this license plate, again, just using um, a couple of simple clicks um, and a couple of filters without adjusting, to, uh, you know, you know, just using default settings, we're going to create two snapshots from this. And we'll go ahead and bring up our product list here. And we'll go ahead and take a snapshot uh, without the detail mode enabled. And then we'll take a snapshot with the detail mode enabled. And that's pretty much it. And now all we have to do is just right click and hit save as for each of these images and specify a save location. And we're done.